a mother and daughter left very early after Thanksgiving evening, Black Friday, to shop, and they shopped all day. Skip lunch, and by the end of the day, the mother was tired and a little irritable. But as she left the last store, she turned to her daughter and said, did you see how nasty that salesman was to me and the nasty look he gave to me? Her daughter answered immediately, he didn't give it to you, Mom. You had it when you went in. That's kind of like if we don't watch it, our Advent season can be very much like that, can it? Always on edge, always irritable. There was another woman I was reading about. Her name was Alice. First Sunday of Advent, like here, she's, she said coming in here to church on the first Sunday of Advent was like an alarm clock going off. And she said she sat at Mass, and she said right from the very start, she started thinking about all the lists and stuff that she has to do. The shopping list of all the kids and different gifts she has to buy, the baking, the decorating, the activities that need to be done, all these different things going through her mind. All of a sudden she hears these words, go in peace, the mass has ended. She walks out, she got to her car and she said, you know, I felt like I wasn't even at mass today. And then all week long, she said she was so irritable and a mess. You know, we forget, my friends, that this part here affects us out there. We forget that. We forget that. There's like this big disconnect. And this is the busiest time of the year. And what happens when we do, when we, this time of year, because of all the things we have to do, we take our spiritual out and we push it aside. And then Christmas is nothing more than a regular day where we exchange gifts. Right? You know the routine? We're exhausted. It's not a spiritual thing at all. We exchange gifts, have a nice little meal, and then we move on. No, there's, there's, this is a big Christmas, my friends. Jesus coming into the world, and then there's a spiritual part of that as well. I read another article about the Department of Homeland Security. Their war on tour t terrorism says we need to be vigilant, we need to be watchful, and we need to be prepared. And then they went on to explain how we need to be vigilant in different areas, how we need to be watchful, and then we need to be prepared. And I, th I thought reading that article, I thought, well, that's exactly what Advent is all about. Some of you know who Bobby Knight is. He's a coach at Indiana University. And in 1976, they won the NCAA championship. He's colorful, a brilliant coach. Absolutely brilliant, but controversial as well. But his teams were amazing, were amazing. And he was being interviewed on 60 Minutes. And the commentator said, why is it, Bobby, that your basketball teams at Indiana are always so successful? Is it your will to win? He said, you know, the will to win is very important, he said. It's important to win. He, he said, but there's something much more important than the will to win. And then there was a long pause, and the guy's thinking to himself, what's more important than winning? He says, the will to prepare. The will to prepare. He said, you need to prepare, train, practice, train, practice, train, practice. He said, you need to know the advantages of these. The will to win comes with the will to prepare. When we do these things, we know we're going to win. Harry Yost, who coached football at the University of Michigan years ago, said the same thing. He said, the will to win is not worth a plug nickel unless you have the will to prepare. 
whether you're talking about sports, education, science, business, or any endeavor in your entire life. Success will only come to the person who has the will to prepare. Interesting, isn't it? Same with our spirituality, my friends. We need to prepare for Christmas. And then something will happen. And I don't mean doing things. I mean preparing spiritually. So that means praying more, reading more, confession. Those are all part of it. We have a confessional next week. It definitely should be part of this. Pray more. Get out a good book. Ten minutes a day. It's a wonderful thing to distract ourselves from this, from this season. The will to prepare, my friends, will make all the difference on Christmas. God bless you.